Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you going? But it's not really morning. It's actually afternoon. Well, let me tell you. Every time I get to spend this time with you all, it feels like a brand new beginning. It feels like a brand new day. So that is why I always greet you all with saying good morning. All right. So it's afternoon and whew, I'm going to pick up Suri and the other girls. Um, what is happening is that I've got some wonderful visitors and I want to shout them out. Um, Sunday gone, Anoop and Kavita. Uh, such a wonderful couple, husband and wife. They visited and they brought some redfish, red snapper, and some real nice fresh shrimp all the way from Ikakas, right? So what happened is that it had some good sized fellas, it had some medium sized fellas, and then it had some jumbo sized fellas. So I separated the jumbo sized fellas. I don't know how I'm gonna prepare the jumbo ones yet. I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe like a garlic and a ginger situation. I don't know. And I cleaned some to curry with some peas and I have a little bit of pumpkin and I don't want to waste any fridge. I'm going to deal with that. But first I'm going to pick up my girls. Let me tell you something now. I'm up. Don't worry, I'm pulling my seat back. I wouldn't start to drive yet, huh? No, no, no. I'll put on my camera and then drive. Um, I was up since half four and I can't believe how many things I, I got done during the day already. Yeah? I, I prepare up them gills, breakfast, lunch, lunch bags, um, dress them, drop them off, came back home, sweep, mop, clean shrimp, prepare all over again, iron clothes, I'm going to pick them up and now we're going for, I think this is what, phase four, this might, this sounds like phase four, phase four of the day, right, so we're going to pick them up and wait to see them I just so excited to pick up them meals all right so let's go for sorry right you still have a lot of friends there eh? hello how are you you good your mom bunks how was school okay let's go what's that you buy taffy or private I am buying nothing what you want you want private I want taffy Miss Tama, you eat out your lunch, right? True? Yeah, I eat out all my lunch. True, let me see the muscles. Eh, eh. She's a real, she's a real eating out lunch child. Yeah. Alright, so on the move again, we're going to pick up the next two ducklets. Right? That's right. Okay, pause. So we're driving, going down the that main road and so we come out and she can't see it. Nah 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 joking. We pack up and we wait and we wait till we have a few minutes for the other girls. So I just wanted to share with you what I'm planning to do when I reach home, right? Apart from <laughs> apart from settle them up and homework and revision and that kind of thing. Um my brother Bean sent me a TikTok video with this woman who took um, some frozen cassava, uh -huh. she boiled it and she made it into sort of like a wrap and she called it cassava roti. Very simple and it looks so delicious. So, you know when he sent it to me, I said Bean, well, you know, this looks so good. This looks real delicious and he said, um, try it now. And then I remembered, yes, I had the frozen cassava in the freezer. And for some reason, I prefer to go that way. I prefer that option because most times, I don't know if it's a fault of mine. If I don't know if I, I don't have the eye to detect good cassava in the market or on the vegetable stall. But I tend to buy bad cassava. And so what works for me is the frozen cassava in the grocery. That always works out well for me and I still have some of that in the freezer. So here how this thing went down. Let me tell you. Yeah? This thing went down like this. It was Sunday and everybody was just breezing. 
I didn't cook because I had food from the fridge, food in the fridge from the day before. And um, so being sends me this video and so he said, you know, try a little curry shrimp with peas and coconut milk. I said, yeah, well, okay. I wasn't even thinking about going and getting the shrimp soon. And while I was about to reply to Uncle Bean, I hear this car horn outside. Went outside and it's this beautiful couple, Anoop and Kavita. So they greeted us. Uh, it's the first time I met them. A wonderful couple. They gave off such a wonderful, pleasant vibes. And um, Kavita real hug my panting. <laughs> Kavita couldn't stop hugging me up whole evening, whole evening. <laughs> so um, you know, after the initial greetings and such, he says, "I have something for you." And the man opens his cooler and this man pulled out one big bag of shrimp and a major drop because I said, Lord, this is really your hand that would because I was literally going to reply to Bean and tell him I'll wait till I get some shrimp. So now I have the cassava, I have the shrimp and I have no excuse. Well, I have a treat for you all. I couldn't keep this to myself. This is too precious. Ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. So from the lion, fizz and tea, and the flower, flower, flower from clay, and I am destiny. All you have it, all you get it live and direct, live and direct from Princess Margaret. Real good, baby. Yeah. I want to sing a national anthem just like that. Yeah, you yeah. have to go in your school. There is two parts. There used to go in the Aries. So I had to yeah. go back in Aries school in order to sing the national anthem? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. But if you have none of the t shirts, just be wanted. But can I come in your school? Yeah. Will you ask Miss Vidya if I can come in your school and Auntie Sandra? Yeah. And uh, Miss Vidya and Auntie Sandra, may I please come in your school to sing a national anthem like Suri? Please, thank you very much. <laughs> Look who I found. Look who I found. Now here are these girls, and rightly so, looking so flushed and tired. Look, all of we face shining, shining because that's on out there ferocious boy. Yeah. So how was holiday? It was awesome. It was good. Yes. She didn't say good, you know. She said awesome. Awesome. It was good and awesome. It was good and awesome. Yes. Well, if I tell all yeah, I'm really happy to see all yeah. Huh. Me too. I'm glad we're here. I'm Then she put Sydney book bag in front and my book bag in the back. Uh, so, so she was wearing the boots. And then when we come back at the back of the class, and I come in the car, I said, Mommy, why are you gonna name the baby? <laughs> and she asked, huh, What baby? <laughs> and then, and then she, and then I said, When he was wearing the book bag, and then she was like, Oh, I was so scared. I want to know. 
buat diri Which baby? Which baby? So we made it safely home. Prison thanks to the Lord God Almighty. And we had um, some visitors, or oh, you remember Ishmael, who had given me some roti a couple um, a few weeks ago when when I went down to Irene and I had done the curry shrimp. Well look at this. The man and his family, his wonderful family, came and they blessed you up with some more roti. So in case this cassava situation doesn't work out too well, we have backup, right? So um, let me show you guys. This is a bursty bag upside down, but it's quick cook cassava, right? And uh, the situation is that I have some water boiling, salted. I'm going to throw in the cassava pieces there and let them fully cook. Um, the idea is to mash the cassava when it's cooked. You can add flavorings, you can add um, seasonings and such. I think I might just keep it simple and just do it plain, just to test it out because I test it out with you guys. Eh? And um, shape the cassava into balls, press it out, and cook them on the tower, both sides, um, until there are some brown spots until you start to see some brown spots so we'll try that i have a water bowl in there right i'm gonna flip my camera you know i just have to give all your close-up yeah man so you see we have a rolling boil that's what we want and just put the cassava pieces in there and i'm gonna test out too much all at once um yeah i think that's it there right so we'll let them cook and in the meantime i will chunky some pumpkin and finish up with my shrimp here and curry up these things these guys these nice fellas with some um peas and coconut milk i wouldn't advise you to start to cook when you're extremely hungry or when you're like even on the verge of of, of hunger because um let me show all you why Ellis getting a little flustered. Just the thought of it, just the sight of it, just the smell of what's happening right now in the kitchen. Take a look. This is where the trouble start. This is where the trouble start. You see this green season um, thing with shadow berry, garlic and onion? That's for my pumpkin. So this pot is for the pumpkin situation and this pot is for the curry shrimp situation yes 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 so what we'll do is start the process we'll throw some green cheese in there and i'm saving some for the shrimp pot too mm -hmm. this is for the pumpkin right It's so nice that I could cook different pots at the same time. Eh? You'll probably get fed up uh, hearing Ellis say this over and over again. So my aromatic sweating out there. And in here I have some aromatic sweating out with some curry powder. And I'll let this continue to cook because I want the curry, I want the curry powder to be cooked properly before I throw any shrimp. Because shrimp doesn't have a very long cooking time, eh? And we don't want it to overcook. Hey, hey, I find this fella looking so yellow. Nah, 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 we had to fix that. Everything had to look yellow here, boy. Yeah, mix them up, mix them up. Mm hmm. Right. Are we trying pumpkin? In with pumpkin pieces. That's a waste, eh? I'm doing it with one hand. Right, and we will throw in some salt, not too much. It's always better to add a little bit at first, right? Turn up the heat on a pumpkin situation and let it to melt. See? So, what about the cassava? Well, the cassava has been cooked and it's cool in here. 
right? Let me see, if I could touch it, if I have to drop it, it's still too hot. Right, and you see how I had to drop it there? Whoa, it's still too hot. So I'll leave it at the pool a bit, right? When, I'll show you what I'm doing. When you go to the grocery and you get frozen cassava, um, like what I showed you, like this, you have to go in the middle and take out the pit. Right, there's a string, we just call it the string, the cassava string. Go right in the middle, and if it's cooked properly, you'll see, it could come out easy, just like that. All right? Long time. It was kind of hard for mommy to get out all these strings, so while we sit down watching Sesame Street in the evening and eating with cassava, we pull a little string from, from the mouth, but we don't mind. We got the lady cook and we're happy. All right. So we're leaving that to cool up a little more. And in the meantime, we'll throw in the shrimp. Yep, boy. Yeah, boy. The shrimp. Give him a little wiggle. Immediately, that that smell is going to hit your nostrils. And if your mouth wasn't watering before, believe me, your mouth going to be watering now. Mm hmm. Nicey cocker shrimp boy. I have some more remaining there, you know. I have some more remaining there. Well, if I tell you something about Alice, eh? And it's real good, you know. I think and I have the guapa peas in tin and I real telling all you I go into the curry shrimp with peas and coconut milk and all of that. Going in the cupboard. Eh -eh. Forgetting that I cooked peas earlier this week and I used the last tin of peas. But let me tell all you something. You see when you have people who love you. That's, that has changed up the game a lot. Luckily, I have some frozen, fresh pigeon peas that I had gotten from um, Auntie Vid from um, Trini Style with Dinesh, Vidya Ramuta. She brought this for me when they came up to do the live a few weeks ago. Look at that, and they already cooked. So just to get them a little rinse and throw them in the pot with the shrimp. Thank you, Vidy and Dinesh. I love all you. Lovely, so our cassava has been cooled down quite a bit. And, oops, sorry. E -e, like I want to put all the inside the cassava itself. All right, so we'll mash it until it's sort of like mashed potatoes. All right, as smooth as possible. You'll get a little resistance and you gotta put in a little elbow grease. But we try and remember. Now at this point, what I saw on the TikTok video was that you could add um whatever seasonings you want. If you wanna add garlic, ginger, green seasonings, any type of herb that you're particularly interested in, you could you could do that as well. It's not a problem. But I don't want to go full fancy yet now. <laughs> See, not a no trying. Oh, I think I need a uh, more heavy duty spoon. Just a little more mashing, and then we'll roll them out and see what we could do. Right, so I'm gonna grease my hand and take about this much, all right, form it into a bowl, make it nice and compact. As best as you could. All right. All right. So this come like a nice little cassava loi, solid. So I'm gonna rest that there and repeat several times. All right. So I have my cassava balls waiting to be rolled out, and this is the situation. I put a piece of plastic. I'm going to oil it up. Put a ball there cover it with plastic and roll it out thinly 
but not too thin right and um look i cooked my pumpkin my pumpkin has already cooked mm -hmm. and I eat it. yeah well it's our heating up for our cassava i'll show them a shrimp the peas and coconut milk and it's so tasty the shrimp is perfectly cooked and so are the peas and i didn't want the sauce too thick and runny this is exactly gosh my mouth watering so let's see what we could do with cassava here let's see if we could do this thing okay so put some oil right and we take one of this and cover it with the second piece of plastic right and roll it all up. oops like i went down too with too much power there boy let's see let me see let me see let me see, let me see, let me see. Alright. And look, I have nice food here. You eat, so we're eating, so we're eating. Alright, so let's see. Now, we're supposed to try to cut it out with a bowl to get it round, but I don't think any of my bowls would have the circumference for it. All right, but you could surely try. Remember, this is the first one. Let me see. Let me see. Mashing up, man. Try from a different angle. Okay, I think I had to do it different. I think I may have rolled it a bit too thin. So this is my first cassava roti, right? Let me try again. This time, we're not going on with too much force, right? All right, this one looking better. This is the second attempt. And we get in a nice shape too. Let me see. Okay, okay. This is attempt number two. All right, straight on the tower. And let me see. All right, so let's flip it. Maybe we should put a little more oil on the tower first. Yeah, hold on. Hi. Greasy tower. You know, there's a step I skipped just now. All right, so. All right, so I think I know what to do for the second time around, right? This is how the cassava roti looking. I had to turn on my light there. I think the tower needs to be a little more heated and uh, we might get better results with the second one. Focus. All right, that's number one. Sorry, this is the second one but the first successful cassava roti. And this is the second one. Right. Well, when you hear a sizzle like that, that's a good sign. All right. We'll see. I think I get in the hang of it now. I think I get in the hang of it now. Yeah. I think I get in the hang of it now. I am so happy to report that we have some success. We have some success, all right? It took me a little getting used to, but I did it. And these are the last two here. I just made, um, I just made six because what ended up happening is that my ducklings got hungry and they say, mom, we, 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 we'll go with Uncle Ishmael roti for now, <laughs> right? But it had a cassava roti there for you want to taste it, right? Okay. Yeah. I want to taste one. You want to taste one? Yeah. All right, just now, okay? Yeah. Let's see muscles. <gasps> muscles. There we have it. Look at here, look at here. Live. Your cassava roti or flatbread wraps, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it, it's going to be used to scoop up this 
situation. This is the situation it's going to be used to scoop up. All right. And you know Alice is how to give all the blue by blue. All right. So we'll just let me see how many would I eat tonight, boy. Let me start with. Let me start with two. All right. So now Santa can call it dusty roti if you if you if if you eating two. All right. Uh huh. Look at him. Who's that? <laughs> hold it good. Hold it good. You want a whole one or a piece? All right. Let me see. Hey, this thing behaving just like um, mm -hmm. like roti. Yeah, taste okay, it. Let me see. Girls, the follow one, so they can come and taste it too, eh? Okay, I'll take the next piece. Take the next piece. Wow, this is nice. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, that one. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. I want to show all your magic. I want to show all your magic. You see this plate? It's square, right? But it could still rotate your plate, right? So we had the pumpkin there with the nice aromatics. You see some shadow bunny peeping through. Continuing the cassava roti. The nice brown spots. Soft, pliable. And then you have your curry shrimp all the way from Ikakas, courtesy a noop and the cavita and you have your red oops mosquito want to a mosquito want to take my dinner he matter what right of course you could put your red salad whatever color salad you want put it in there i don't know what is going on in trinidad right now but the place is heated look at how i is sweating that's not all you know that i, <laughs> I sweat and yes you can have your cassava roti with salad. What going on with all y'all? You good? How it is? Good. Good? Yep. Oh, sorry, one. Sorry? Oh, cherry there. A bypass, sorry. All right, so let me show you this, right? Woo! This is your cassava roti. And let me tell you, as a hole in it here, I even started to eat it yet. I ain't taste it yet, but it be heaven. It behaving like roti. In fact, it behaving like a like a bara. It behaving like a bara. So I mean, if it is that you want to try something healthier other than the flour, go ahead and try the cassava, right? And um, as you could see, you could see soft, pliable, sweet, gentle. All right. So we'll just break a little piece. Like that, it breaking just like a roti. Hello. Taking a piece of the roti. And what I'll do, I'll just take the red salad and just kind of like, oh, let it play hopscotch on my talcari situation, right? That is one of, my, that is one of Ella's method, playing um, salad hopscotch with my talcari. So, pick up your roti. Pick up a little bit of the pumpkin. Eh, eh. It's scooping up the talcari just like roti, right? Mm hmm. Taste this. Taste this. You know, even though, you know it's cassava going in your mouth, the texture is very similar to roti. I would say it's not that much different from, from roti or from a wrap. And um, you like it? Yeah. It'd be even just like roti, right? It's soft. Not, not chewy at all. It's a good hack if it is you want to eat healthy, but you don't want to give up roti. Try this. Go get yourself some cassava. Try it. Message Ellis and send me a bar because when you try this, you will want to send me a bar. I still gonna try some of Ishmael roti, eh? 
How do you feel? Are you leaving Iman Rosie out? No, 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 no. I just want to shout out. So I'd love to shout out Ishmael, his wife, his beautiful wife, Samantha, his wonderful uh, baby girl, Sarah, and his mom and sister who visited today. And it was such a pleasure being in their company. His mommy brought me some lovely bonatos, a whole bag of bonatos. So watch now. It's bonatos choker, fry bonatos, bonatos and roti, bonatos and dumpling, bonatos and rice, raw bonatos, rose bonatos. You could bake some too. Yeah. Mm hmm. It is definitely worth the effort to try this. Don't get us pardoned. You saw how Ellis first and Sam came out. Nowhere close to what you see in any plate here now. But keep trying. It will work out. What you have to do is you have to make sure that your tower is very, very hot and that it's um, oiled or greased properly. And you're only flipping it when you're sure that the underside has some brown spots that's how you're gonna get it to stay together flip it get some more brown spots on the other side take it off and enjoy with your talcary of choice or on its own that was, good. that was a real good dinner i'm not lying to tell you and i'm not feeling um i'm not feeling weighted down i'm not feeling heavy and i'm not feeling as if i over ease i'm feeling good i'm feeling just right I'm feeling so good that I come to sit down outside and enjoy the night breeze. And as I'm sitting here, I feel a little drizzle of rain. And it feels like I want to run outside in the rain and be like, I ain't gonna do that, right? Because the doctor's waiting on a bedtime story. So, thank you for making cassava roti, curry shrimp, and pumpkin with me tonight. Thank you for spending a portion of the day with me. And until next time, be happy, be safe. Bye.